Hey there everybody, it's Patty the Tinkerer's wife here and I am outside in the freezing cold. Yes it is freezing, it's 26 degrees here. I just put up a hummingbird feeder and I want. I was thinking I needed to share a couple things with you out here so let me do some quick share and then I'm going to go back in. So let me show you that. This hummingbird feeder, it's 26 degrees out here. Now this has been inside for about 15 minutes but you see that water, they don't really freeze that hard. I, it has to get well below 26 degrees for them to freeze solid. Um, it's been, excuse me, 27 degrees, 26 degrees, probably gonna go down to 25 degrees and then it'll go back up. Look at this, it's so funny what plants do. Um, the tree collard is bending down oh those are pretty those are pretty frozen I might have to take those in and cook them I wanted to show you one other thing here you notice a lot of plants will do that they'll bend over but there's one in particular that I really love because <clears throat> it'll do this when it snows and it's a protection for the flowers that there I can't there we go that there and these here those are hellebore you guys have seen those before if you watched the last video i think i showed those anyway um they bend over like that whenever it gets freezing so it gets down towards 32 degrees and they'll bend over and it helps protect the flower so that um the flower isn't damaged and it can still produce its uh necessary pollen and all of that and produce seed. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'll give you a quick little tour here. My little person there, little Eve, she is covered in snow. I noticed she's finally getting a moss bodice on her. I'll be excited when that's complete. Um, that old little hand plow wheel. Everything looks so cool. This is what's fun about putting things out in your garden. Think about what they'd look like with snow on them. Oh, look at that. You know, that hydrangea over there, all of those flower heads that I did not cut off, all have snow on them, so it adds some interest in the garden. Um, a lot of times people don't consider their gardens as something they want to really look at. You know, our, our, our heads get turned inside, and we aren't outside all that much. But um, one thing I learned in landscape design was to consider the views from your house when you're designing your garden. So that when you look out your window, you have something pleasant to see and it would be drawing you in to the garden. So I think that's pretty cool to do. I try to do that. I really didn't have any good uh, place here to do that in the backyard, except for when we walked out off of this path. And so um, the front yard used to be that way, but as most of you know, it has deteriorated. Um, it'll be getting renovated here before I sell the house and all of that. So anyway, I wanna thank everybody for joining me in this little frosty walk. <laughs> and I hope you have a good day that you're staying warm and that you're safe. Um, Remember to pray for those people that were impacted by that huge uh, crash that they had. It was like 300 cars or some ridiculous number like that. Um, I think it was in Texas. Last I heard there were six people that died. There may be more than that by now. That was last night I heard that. Anyway, this is Patty, the Tinker's wife. Thanks so much for joining me. And I hope that um, you will consider subscribing please click the like button. And if you want to get future notifications, click the bell and I'll see you next time. God bless. Have a good day.